Ooh. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Ooh. Inside of this box, I have the Terraforza Blondie Mature Male, the biggest tarantula in the world, which means that this will most likely be the biggest male tarantula that you have ever seen. And if he is, if he will be cooperative, I will attempt to handle him so you can see his size in comparison with my hand. Exciting, huh? Currently it is kinda cold outside, so I'm hoping that the males are alright, but hopefully they were packed good, which I can already see that they are. You can see they are inside of Styrofoam box, where it says the Dark Den, oh, can you see it? The Dark Den Petco, and they were actually sent to me by a subscriber. His name is Adam and he was kind enough to offer his mail, his mails to me for some breeding attempts. Let's hope that they are fine. Hey, 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 editing Petko here with one important announcement. I forgot to mention in the video that plastic parts for the enclosures are back on the web shop. So you can go ahead, link is in the description, you can go and order them. And also I noticed that some of you are commenting that glass is really expensive to get locally, but uh, here is a couple of tips to get a cheaper glass. First of all, go and find some smaller, maybe family business that is doing like picture frames or uh, fixing broken mirrors, replacing broken, broken mirrors for cars and such, you know. So go ahead and ask there. And also when you are ordering the glass, make sure to mention that the edges doesn't need to be finely refined because that is the most important, that is the most expensive thing when buying small amounts of glass. You see, normally glassmen will do this fine edge on the glass, but that is not needed, that is not necessary for the enclosure. You need to mention that edges just need to be lightly sanded just so they are not sharp, but that is it. They don't need to be refined like super nice. Then a set of glass for an enclosure shouldn't cost more than like 10 euros or 10 bucks. And here in Croatia I get glass even cheaper than that. So yeah, go ahead and ask some smaller business. I'm pretty sure that you will find some deal. Anyhow, back to the video. This should obviously be a Davus Pentaloris and this one, this, this should obviously be a blondie male. Should we first open the, let's first open this and leave this one for, for the end. <laughs> so we can wander for just a couple of minutes more. Where is the guy? Oh yeah, here is the guy. You can kind of see his booty right there, but he is fine, which is Great, of course. I should actually bring some enclosure for him, just a second. I already have one empty enclosure, so I can just put him inside for now. I used to have a Nandochromatus inside, you can still see her web, but I think that I will leave that web inside and this will be actually an experiment to see if his behavior will be any different with that um, leftover web from some other tarantula. I think that he won't really mind that. Okay, so I just pull it like this. Oh, and then I'll just squeeze him out. Come on, dude, go out and stretch your legs. Oh, there. There we go. Wrong way. <sighs> he came to me all the way from France, so it was kind of a long trip. <laughs> Oops, that was my fault. I'm gonna put him aside just so we can compare the sizes later. Let's now see the main treat. I can see his legs here, so he is probably filling the entire box. <laughs> Adam taped his box really good. Okay, we are ready now to witness his glory. Where are you, big fella? Oh, he's actually, to be honest, not that big. I kinda expected him to be a bit bigger, but the most important thing, he is all right. Wanna come out and show yourself? <laughs> but by far the biggest mature male for sure. I had huge Acanthoscuria geniculata male, but this one is definitely bigger. Hey dude, how are you feeling? Are you good? Are you feeling good? Wanna stroll a bit? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, now as he spread, you can see that he's bigger. And I'm really hoping that he will not throw any hairs because that can be nasty. Okay, come on, touch my hand now. You don't like that really, huh? 
of course, just like every other tarantula. I guess that they can sense that we are warm and alive and therefore they don't really want to step on us. Not unless they really, really have to. It is like the last case scenario. You see how he's resisting to go down on my hand. Dude, you are so huge. <laughs> you see? He's like lifting his legs away from me. So funny to see. But he's well behaved. Adam, you definitely raised him good. With good manners. <laughs> with some good manners for sure. At least for now. And good thing is looking at his size. I'm pretty sure that my female is bigger than him. So there is no questions if my female is mature. And at the same time currently she's in heavy heavy pre-mold. Which means that once she molds she will be even bigger. So yeah. Adam actually asked me a few months ago if I want him. But since I knew that Bonita will molt soon, I didn't really want to have him here waiting for her. But it is getting colder and colder and even though she still didn't mature, she will like in a week or so. So this was like the last chance for him to reach me. And his name is Blondino. Yeah, Blondino, which is really fitting with my female's name, which is Bonita. Bonita and Blondino. It is a perfect combination. Okay, now I will try to push him on my hand since he's just kind of sitting there. Hello, my dude. Please don't throw any hairs. I don't want to... Oh, yes, go there. Come on, I won't hurt you. Hopefully he won't hurt me. With the size of his fangs, he definitely could. Yes, yes, just a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Whoa, he's so heavy and he got spikes like on the end of his legs and they are really oh i can feel them this is awesome <laughs> and so awkward whoa but i i can really see those spikes that he is like poking me with oh and this is also first time for me handling the terraforza any terraforza species whoa, 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 whoa. dude you almost fell he's too big for my hand look at this you can see how huge he is <laughs> and also keep in mind that I have relatively big hands. So I'm pretty sure that some girl would need to keep him with both hands. Oh, and I can actually feel his fangs on my finger. He is kind of touching them. <laughs> Thankfully only touching them. And look at, if I can show you on the video. Can you see these spikes on the underside of his leg? Those aren't hairs, they're actually spikes and I could feel them uh, poking my fingers. I could definitely feel them. This is crazy. Uh, now to put it in perspective, if I can make this happen, please stay on that cork bark. Okay, perfect. Now look at this. Compare these two mature males. And sorry for my shaky hands, but he's actually heavy, surprisingly heavy. And I'm just a little bit nervous. What are you doing? But this is not... Ooh. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Ooh. Chill, man. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, I need to cup him before he runs somewhere where he shouldn't. And I'm gonna move this. That was Pentaloris guy. But what I wanted to say, this wasn't like a trick shot where I kept him really close to the camera and that was Pentaloris like really far away. So there appears to be a great difference between them. There is actually a great difference between them. I'll actually just bring his temporal enclosure. The one where I kept Bella first, you know, before she got that huge enclosure for herself. If you haven't seen that video, I definitely suggest you to go because that is the biggest, the biggest enclosure for some tarantula period. Go, 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 go. Okay, just climb here. Come on, climb, yes. And in you go. Perfect. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm gonna bring some water because these enclosures are now dry and they are most likely thirsty from the from the trip. And of course I'm gonna show you the both females so you can see how Bonita's abdomen is completely black and dark. I'm constantly checking her out hoping to catch her while she's molting so I can record a sweet time lapse but knowing my luck she will most likely molt during the night. And I will just find the malt outside. <laughs> okay, that's it. Now they can drink and enjoy their new space. Over there I have the Davos Pentaloris female right here, you see. And you can see that she's 
really really fat so hopefully there are some eggs inside of that abdomen maybe next video i will even do the the sexy time i don't know i'm really not sure but that is an option for sure while bonita is right here mm, and maybe i will need a light for this but even without the light you can see this is bonita's abdomen and that bald spot is now completely dark yeah you will see it you will definitely see it better with the light and now i realize that i didn't even explain why i'm wearing this shirt world cup in football is currently being held or soccer as americans would call it and these are the colors of croatian team so yeah go croatia okay back to bonita yeah there we go now you can see it clearly this bald spot that you can see this is usually white or yellowish but when tarantula is in a heavy premolt as bonita is then it is dark like this and that is because you can actually see the the new exoskeleton forming underneath the old one and that's why it is so dark so yeah bonita we got a boyfriend for you waiting so go quickly molt so i can feed you and we can have some huge huge sexy time that will be an interesting thing to see and also i know that it is kind of hard to get babies from this species that is the reason why they are so expensive because they are so hard to breathe so i'm not really i'm not really expecting to get a successful extract from them but you never know you definitely never know so i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you are excited for these sexy times in the future if you are and if you enjoyed this video uh, make sure to thumbs the, the video up and comment something uh, if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe upload on monday and sometimes on friday so see you again really soon bye, -bye.